Egypt. Now, the Constitutional Court has found the former president, Jacob Zuma, guilty of contempt of court and has sentenced him to 15 months imprisonment. Let's get a reaction now from a friend of the court on this matter. I'm joined by Mr. Anton van Dalsen, a legal counselor for the Helen Sisman Foundation. Mr. van Dalsen, thank you for joining us this afternoon on the Daytime Update. Let's talk first of all about your status as a friend of the court, um, why it was important for you to be admitted as such, and what exactly that means. Yes, we, we applied to um, join the proceedings as a friend of the court, um, and the reason for that was that we felt we had certain arguments and considerations that had not been raised by the other parties uh, and that would be of use to the court. And we were, uh, our presence was then um, uh, approved by the court. And the, the main uh, additional um, argument that we brought was the consideration of whether it would not be um, uh, preferable to, uh, to consider a suspended sentence provided that the uh, ex-president then gives evidence um, or um, in place of just uh, a jail time. Um, this was considered by the court uh, in the judgment that was delivered today. It's clear that they thought this through very carefully, but the court decided to impose the pure jail sentence and not a suspended sentence uh, for purposes of uh, still giving evidence. It is obvious the court felt that uh, ex-president Zuma had made it very clear that he had no interest in giving any evidence and therefore uh, to come with a suspended sentence or as some people say a coercive sentence uh, was not really going to work. So that, that's the background. And, and, and given that um, basis and that rationale from your side, why do you believe it was so important for the former president to actually appear before the commission? Well, the, the commission, the the, uh, the commission into state capture. Um, I mean, what, one of the central figures in the whole theater of state capture is ex-president Zuma, um, and it's obvious that the the um, commission um, wished to have his evidence, um, to hear what he had to say on all the allegations. Um, I think it's perfectly understandable that the Commission uh, did its best to get him there, but he obviously was having none of it um, and um, stated very categorically in public that he had no interest in any contribution to the Commission. Are you then disappointed in the final judgment? No, I think uh, listening to the judgment today, uh, it was very strongly worded, much more strongly worded than one would normally find in uh, court judgments. Uh, it's obvious that the court through, thought through the potential uh, punishments and uh, also thought through our uh, submission of a suspended sentence uh, provided that um, evidence is given. Um, but uh, the court, and I think what is important, and it comes through very strongly in the judgment, is that they didn't just focus on the contempt of court as far as the giving of evidence to the uh, Zondo Commission is concerned. But they took it wider and they uh, spent quite a lot of time talking about uh, ex-president Zuma's attacks on the judiciary, gen judiciary generally and uh, underlined the fact that attacks of this kind against the judiciary, judiciary are very, very dangerous for a constitutional democracy. And uh, one should not just read the judgment in the light of the contempt of court for the Zondo Commission, but one must look at it more wi wi uh, widely against that background. And, and that, Sibu is actually one of, of the questions and one of the issues that you were focusing on. And, and that's correct, yes. Tammy. Uh, I mean, uh, the question uh, actually try, try, I'm trying to understand here, uh, Anton, flowing, moving away from, from the issue of contempt, is the issue of the former president, there's a big question that's uh, come up where people are asking about his um, privileges as presidential privileges. And I would imagine that because this was not a criminal case, um, that perhaps they would not be affected by this ruling. Is that correct? Or do I have a different understanding? Or do you have a different understanding of it? I, I haven't looked at that aspect in any detail, but I would assume that the 
Uh, when you say presidential privileges, you mean pension and so forth? Yes, and all the privileges that he enjoys as a former president, including security and such like. I, I haven't looked at that in any detail, but I would assume that those privileges would remain. And, and now, on the, on the, uh, on the issue you, you were raising about the court making it clear that the contempt is not between the former president and uh, Deputy Chief Justice Zondo, but rather between the court and the former president, Jacob Zuma. How important do you think that distinction was in this particular case for them to make that distinction? Um, I think it was clear from the judgment that uh, any kind of contempt, personal contempt to, to uh, uh, Judge uh, Zondo was not really the issue. The issue was contempt of court and going wider than that, contempt of the judiciary and the constitutional court in general. All right, Mr. Anton uh, van Dalsel, we'll leave it at that for uh, this afternoon. Um, but before I let you go, are, are you really completely satisfied with this? Is this the end of the road as far as the involvement of the Helen Sisman Foundation in this particular matter now that judgment has been handed down? Or do you feel that there's still more that should be or can be done from a legal perspective? As far as this specific case is concerned, the Constitutional Court has delivered its judgment, so that's the end of the road for this specific case. Uh, but obviously we, we are interested in, in the wider context of the rule of law and uh, the constitutional law. And so whenever these things do pop up within the context of state capture and in whatever may happen in future uh, with uh, reference to this case, we would certainly want to be involved, yes. Dr. Anton van Dalsen, thank you very much for your time.